I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahara Kakodash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being his only Hebrew name, who the world calls Yeshua, Jesus, etc. And um, in the Holy Spirit, which is the Bahakodash, the wisdom and understanding of these Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible. Right? And say double honors to the apostles and elders of great and so on and salutation to the sincere Akim that's pushing the truth of this holy holy word, true understanding of the scriptures, and sincerity and truth. Right? I just want to get into a lesson of you know, mortifying your member members and not be the children of disobedience. Right? And um you know yesterday I experienced something that every time that I stand up for, for righteousness among among two thirds. Like, um, there, there's, there's, there's a, um, what's the word? It's conflict, you know? Something might come up. Anyway, so this is Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. It says, Mortify therefore your members which are, which are upon. Slacky. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, right? Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate, inordinate affection, ego concupiscence, and covetousness, and, and I, which is idolatry, all right? So these are just examples of things we have to mortify, all right? Let me get the blue letter Bible. Let's check this out. Concupiscence, let me look at that word says strong sexual desire or loss right so ego conc concupiscence all right inordinate affection just go to this word real quick yeah because we look up the meaning of these words we just don't um, search it usually or or are disproportionately large excessive all right yeah don't don't overreact all right don't overreact, don't don't get arrogant, emotional, alright? Alright, we know what's fornication, alright? Fornication is is um, both physical and spiritual. Serving other gods is fornication to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And fornication and fornication is also um having sex with another man's wife. Even looking for another man's wife and thinking you know, evil, evil concupiscence. All right. So this is um. So it says, for which things sake, the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, and that's what the children of disobedience is going to be. They, they, you know, they probably, you know, taking other men's wife and eating pork and, you know, being all emotional about shit. You know overreacting it's like evil, evil concupiscence as in you know you know having anal sex and all these other you know sexual in, inappropriate things all right so it's covetousness coveting one another's things which is idolatry all right for which things say the wrath of the most i come from the children of disobedience and we are not the children of disobedience because you have about you know taught us his word and um Scripture says, let me get it. Slack yak, you know. Slack yak. Yeah. I'm trying to stop this lesson, but he like. Um, so let me get it to evil concupiscence. What was I going to look for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's show you what the scripture says about you know disobedience. First Samuel chapter fifteen verse twenty three. Sorry from twenty two to twenty three. Alright, this is um First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse twenty-two to twenty-three, it says, "And Samuel said, Hath Yahweh 
Atihah will agree and delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices. Most I don't want you to sin and then, you know, or, you know make a sacrifice or go on a fast or one of the most I prefer. And it says, as as you know, being as obeying the voice of Yahweh. You understand? If the most I prefer sacrifice and burnt offerings and than obeying, most I don't want don't want us to sin. And yes, we will go off, but now will now willingly. All right. So we gotta try. You know, we gotta try. You gotta keep trying, keep asking, keep repenting. All right. Because behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than. And to hearken than fat of rams. Yeah, the spirit just caught me there while I, when I paused there for a moment. Yeah. You know, we gotta <laughs> be in the spirit as much as we can. Except for rebellions as a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as as in, as uh, is as iniquity or and idolatry. Yeah, stubbornness is as witchcraft and rebellion. Rebellions as witchcraft and stubbornness as, as iniquity and idolatry, right? Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh, he hath rejected thee from being king. So if men of the Lord reject Yahweh's word, reject what we will be taught, you know, the most I will, will deny us from being king. You know? Deny us from having that ruler class mentality. And you know, that's what I, that's what I'm praying for and hoping for. That the most I you know, you know ground me in that mentality, right? This is John chapter eight and verse four four four. Says Yes Yahweh Shai speaking says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. And that's so called Isa. Because you know, two thirds of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Amerindians, and Confucian faiths that look like the heathens, but their fathers go back to an Israelite man, their bloodline. Right? It says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. So Isa wants to covet things, likewise, two thirds of our people is on that same vibration, and we gotta resist. You know the lust of our father of of Slaki, the lust of our of of Isa. All right. Uh, we got a preset. Let me just check it real quick. This came to mind. <laughs> just want to get it up. Ephesians 2. Let me add it after this. Ephesians 2 and 2. Slack yeah, okay. yeah. So it says he was a murderer from the beginning and abode, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he spake a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Alright, that's Esau. All right, he killed, he killed his brother Abel. Yes, he saw the so-called white race. Is um, is the spirit, the spirit of Cain, is the spirit of Esau. All right, that's why I said he was a murderer from the beginning, and he lied, and said, "I'm on my brother's keeper." All right, but when he when he speaketh the lie, he speaketh of his own, and that's what that's what um two thirds of Israel. Are they liars? They're 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 covetous, you know. They're murderers, you know. If not literally, spiritually, you know, might offer their brother cigarette, might do certain things, you know, that would that would destroy somebody. Yeah, this is um Ephesians chapter five and six. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath upon upon the children of disobedience. So so we can't let two thirds deceive us, you know. These two thirds could be real slick. And the scripture says that, um, roughly paraphrasing, that you know, even though men might 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 use you, and you, you know that means that you're fully aware that men are gonna try to use you, right? I'm not saying that you tolerate it, but I'm saying, but I'm saying that the most I, most I will judge them. That's why the scripture says, um, roughly paraphrasing again, um, if you do good unto a man, it will heap coals of fire. If you do good to a man that wrong you, it will heap coals of fire upon his head. I believe it's in Romans, All right? All right, and that will show that our, our conduct, our conduct will stand out. And um, you know, um, a brother, this brother Kazak did a lesson states now. Um, you know, our conduct, our conduct will um 
will bring people bring people to the fold will bring bring people back home to Israel because we stand stiffly because if we stand stiffly for righteousness you know they, they will wonder like how this man standing so stiffly for righteousness right because we refuse to be children of disobedience how about you know shall we choose choose not to disobey because we're called and the most high spirit is in us in us all right so this is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2 so we're in time past he walked according to the according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit this the spirit that that now worketh in the children of disobedience all right the children of disobedience that spirit is working and it says the power of the air you know Esau controlled the airways the sky and so forth and he pollutes this world with its with its philosophies and whatnot and that spirit is working in the children of disobedience so we just got to resist it and keep fighting you know because it's going to be conflict because we're light they're darkness and they won't understand it and you and the most high spirit will be on you for understanding all right i pray this lesson is what i find you know slack here for the, for the few pause or whatever and um I need to worry how bashing my chef when it's spread. I need to do another lesson. Rock him, stay up, stay strong. Shall walk back.